know from Valentin, uh, Mr. Sampat Kumar, and Michael, what they think of, and any others in the audience, what they think of this, the big Indian experiment, and anybody in the audience also. Have you seen anything similar? Oh, wow. Yes. Um, I can't really say that I'm seeing your, but I have seen others on other places. Uh, I have read a lot of uh, different uh, uh, reports, etc. And um, all is working to uh, improve the lives. And that is very, very good. So, uh, but... Um, 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 as I see, it's 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 what what is little uh, lack of is that it's not it's not com uh, connected together in the in the world. So many people do many things on different places and try to connect it. It's that's more a difficult. very very good thing. More difficult. I have been in 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 Africa. I have been in in South America. I have been nearly everywhere and seen the interesting thing that many people around is is uh, very um, committed and do very good things. But why not connect them so they can work together? I think. That, the economy will be much better and uh, the, the cost will be much, much lesser and we can, um, we can uh, at the same time, try to learn from each other and make That's it better. A, that is a very good point and it's very well taken. You're talking about greater coordination, I mean, across space. Uh, Valentin, uh, Rajkumar, do you want to add something? Then I'll give the floor to Amit and Raja also. Do you want to react to what Michael said? Yeah, thanks. Uh, there, of course, um, there is a need for coordination, but um, fortunately you have Jennifer in the call. So yes. she's from the FSM Alliance. So I won't talk too much about uh, getting people together on FSM. Uh, she can do that much more ably. Yeah, I, I think that the need for data collection is there. No, you can't make informed decisions if you don't have accurate data. So definitely it's, uh, it's a requirement. Then the second thing, of course, if you have the data, what do you do with the data? That always find very interesting. So collecting data. And thirdly, and that's something still a work in progress, what we do see, and it's a little bit what Raj Kumar was talking about, but most of the fecal sludge management businesses today in the world, they, uh, they cannot run on fecal sludge alone. So if you make a product, you need something else. And typically what we're talking about is organic solid waste. And what you find is, although we're dealing with the wash sector, there is less similarity between water and sanitation than between sanitation and solid waste management. So at both cases, you have a product you want to get rid of as soon as possible. You have people collecting it. You have uh, a place it's going to. And then you have the recycling economy. The good part about solid waste is the recycling economy is much more developed. And it's very big. So there are a lot of different uh, materials which you can get from solid waste. But there the problem is it's, it's mixed. So how do you segregate at household level? You come back to the, the same thing which we had earlier with sanitation. How do you make people aware? How do you generate demand for sanitation? How do you make now, the question now is how do you make people aware about the need and the usefulness of segregating solid waste? What are they getting for it? So it's a similarity even in that aspect. So, uh, but then, yeah, it's, uh, I do agree it runs with data. So, uh, and I do think, yes, this is the way forward. If you have a waste times a waste, and, you know, uh, we, uh, most of you are, uh, or some of you are, st <laughs> are still in university. If you multiply a minus with a minus, you get a plus, right? <laughs> so we're looking very much for the plus. 